What's going on guys, Maxilot here with another CSGO video, and today I'm going over a $3 loadout for CSGO, and it's actually not even that bad of a loadout, you get somewhat of a decent skin for every single weapon you have equipped in CSGO, and this is actually using OP skins pricing. I did a $5 loadout a very long time ago using Steam Market pricing, but I was actually able to get a loadout down to an even cheaper one using some of the newer skins that have been added uh, way after that video came out, because that video came out around a year ago, and there's a lot of new skins that are actually pretty nice that are like blue skins that are not even too expensive. And then I also use OP skins pricing, so if you're trying to get this loadout for under $3 or just around $3, Make sure to buy all the skins on OP Skins. I'll put a link to OP Skins in the description. But let's get into the first skin for this video, which, as you can see, it is the CZ Polymer. Definitely go for a field tested one. Probably the best cheap CZ skin, and it's actually a newer skin as well. And it's only 12 cents for a field tested one on OP Skins. So I definitely recommend this for your uh, CZ Auto skin. And then next up for the Desert Eagle, or the Deagle, I'd definitely go with the Bronze Deco. I think this was in the $5 loadout as well. You can get into the minimal wear condition for only eight cents. It's actually a pretty sick Deagle skin, kind of similar to the Golden Koi, but for only eight cents. Now for your Duelies, I definitely recommend going for the Dueling Dragons. Now it actually doesn't matter what condition you get, I just recommend getting the cheapest condition, and I think in uh, the when I checked, the cheapest one was field tested, and it should usually be field tested the cheapest, might be battle scarred, but they all pretty much look the same no matter what condition, so just go with whatever ch one is the cheapest. Now onto the 5.7, the Violet Damio is one of the another newer skin that wasn't available for my $5 loadout, but you can actually fit it into the $3 loadout for only 14 cents for a field tested one. Actually, a pretty sick looking 5.7 skin. I definitely recommend this one, and there really isn't any other good cheap 5.7 skin options for this cheap of a price. But next up, we got the Glock 18 Bunsen Burner. Now, you can actually choose your, you can kind of play around with the conditions on this. You can maybe try to go for a battle scarred one. But the cheapest one when I checked was a field tested, so I just decided to go with that. Sometimes on the battle scarred ones, you can get kind of a green tint to it, which is actually kind of nice looking, but Either way, any condition on the Buns and Burner is actually a really nice looking Glock skin, so definitely recommend that, very cheap. Now for the P250, you probably want to go with the P250 Valence Field Tested. The condition doesn't matter too much on this as well, but Field Tested is probably going to be the cheapest, and then when it gets too battle scarred, it does start to look a little burned up. So this is a really nice P250 for only six cents, so I definitely recommend going for this as your P250 skin. Now for the next skin in this video, I'm going to go with the Tech 9 Ice Cap for your Tech 9, and also Field Tested Condition as well. Another one of the newer skins, and it's actually a pretty nice skin for only 7 cents using the OP Skins pricing, so that is the Tech 9 for this video. Now for the next skin, we have the USPS Lead Conduit, but it's actually pretty important that you keep in mind that I've done this loadout, so it's under $3 if you choose either the USPS skin or the P2000 skin. You can't actually have both of those and both of the m 4 s and the M4A4 skin in this video for under three dollars. I've done it that way because it's supposed to be it's supposed to be a full loadout for everything you have equipped, and you can't have both of those equipped at once. And I noticed that no one really uses both the USPS and the P2000. But uh, if you do, I do have two recommendations here. You could try to go for both. They're both pretty cheap skins, but I do have it set up that way. And then so yeah, USPS Lead Conduit and P2000 Imperial, the P2000 Minimal Wear. And the USPS is field tested, both pretty nice skins for very cheap prices. And also another thing I need to, you need to keep in mind is there's no R8 skin in this video just because there's really no point in using the R8 over the Deagle. I don't think literally anyone uses the R8 over the Desert Eagle. So why am I even going to include it in a loadout for all the skins you have equipped when no one even has it equipped? But uh, if you do want to go for a cheap R8, you can go for the R8 field tested crimson web i think that's only around eight cents but i really don't even recommend getting an r8 skin because you won't ever use it all right so now for the ak-47 you want to go for the elite build battle scarred now you used to be able to get the field tested for the five dollar loadout but it looks like they've actually the prices for these have actually gone up but the battle scarred one actually doesn't look too bad it's just kind of a different look it looks kind of like what a black laminate would look like but it's got some more details and stuff on it so it's not even that bad of an ak for only 28 cents so for the next skin in this video we got the aug ricochet this skin is actually really sweet looking i would definitely recommend going for this one um it's quite a flashy skin it only costs 12 cents there's actually quite a few blue skins that are pretty flashy so i've tried to include all those in this video 
because uh, people aren't paying attention. They might even think some of these are more expensive skins because they don't really look too cheap, even though they really are very cheap. But the next skin is the uh, Pit Viper, which is only 46 cents for the field tested one on OP skins. So this is by far the best op for this price. If you really like an op skin, you could, if you really are an offer, you could try to go for the Sun and Leo, but that's gonna cost you over a dollar. So if you're trying to go for the ultimate cheap loadout, you can get this for literally only 46 cents. So, so I definitely recommend that as your op skin. But for the next skin, we've got the FAMAS. Gonna go with the Survivor Field Tested. Only eight cents and kind of a cool FAMAS for that price. So you can definitely go for the FAMAS Field Tested Survivor, or Survivor Z is actually what it's called. So go for that. But uh, for the G3 SG1, you can actually go for a factory new green apple. And uh, the factory new one's basically the same price as the other ones, I believe, or it's only three cents on OP skins, which is basically as cheap as it gets. So you can go for that in the factory new condition. For your Galil, I'm definitely gonna go with the Galil AR Rocket Pop Field Tested. Only eight cents and quite a snazzy skin for the price. It's actually gone up in price a little bit. It used to be cheaper back when I made the $5 load up, but you can actually get this for only eight cents on OP skins. So you're still saving quite a lot of money by using OP skins instead of the Steam Market price. But the next skin for this video is the M4-1S Boreal Forest. Field tested is only eight cents. And unfortunately, I did wish I could go for a better M4ONS for this loadout, but the good M4ONSs start for like well over a dollar, so it's kind of hard to go for a cheap M4ONS. This is really the only M4ONS skin you could get that fits in this loadout. So that does kind of suck. The two um, M4 rifles, they don't have any good cheap options, unlike a lot of the other skins in the game. But for the M4A4, you can go for the Urban DD Pat Factory New, which actually isn't that bad looking of a skin. I do like this more than the Boreal Forest M4ONS. But still, you can't really get anything better that fits in the loadout, but it's a pretty nice skin for only six cents, so basically nothing, so you can always go for that. But the next skin in this loadout is the Scar 20 Outbreak, which is one of the newer blue skins, and it's only six cents, so you can definitely go for that for your Scar 20 skin. Now, for your SG553 skin, or SG skin, whatever you want to call it, you can go with with the aerial field tested actually a really sweet looking sg skin probably one of my favorite sgs in the game and the field tested one only costs seven cents so this is one of the new skins that is pretty nice and is also very cheap so um yeah definitely go for that for your sg skin but for your ssg or your scout skin i would definitely go for the necropos well worn now the well-worn one was, was the cheapest for me i believe or it might have been slightly more expensive than battle scarred but the battle scarred one's just a little bit too beat up and uh, you could try to go for like field tested well-worn or maybe even battle scarred whatever you want but either way just the ssg necropods you can go for the cheapest one you want and it just looks really sick with the whole um green print over it it's actually a pretty cool scout skin and definitely the best for the price and for the, your mac 10 skin you can always go with the candy apple minimal wear I believe that was in my $5 loadout as well. Pretty classy skin, just a solid red clean skin, only three cents for the minimal wear one, so you can get it in that condition for a very cheap that still fits in the loadout's budget. And for the MP7, we're gonna go with the Urban Hazard. Field tested, not too many other options on this, and this is definitely the best of the few options you're given for this. Only seven cents, so uh, it's a very old skin. It's gone up in price a little bit, but still very cheap. You get it on OP skins. For the MP9, I went with the Bio League, which is, I believe, another one of the newer skins. Pretty crazy looking, and another one of the flashier skins for a very cheap price. So that's why I recommend that for your MP9 skin. Now on to the PP Bison. I went with the Brass Field Tested. Actually a pretty nice looking skin when it's in the sun. It doesn't look too great when it's not in the sun, but there isn't really any other options. And that skin's only seven cents, so it fits in the loadout pretty well. Now for the P90, I went with the Grim Field Tested, which is only 16 cents and actually a really sick looking P90 that I would definitely recommend. And I've never actually even used this one before, this video, but it's actually really sweet looking and probably the by far the best P90 for only 16 cents. So um, yeah, you can pwn some noobs with your P90 in style using the skin at a low price as well. Now for the UMP, I went with the Gunsmoke Minimal Wear, only four cents on OP skins. And I do believe I checked and it's worth getting the minimal wear and it still fits in the loadout. Actually, the total price for this loadout was $2.99 when I did it, so that should be the uh, overall price, but it could vary a little bit if uh, prices fluctuate, of course. But for the next skin, I'm gonna go for the Mag 7 Heaven Guard minimal wear. 
another skin where it's kind of worth getting the minimal wear one because it's only like a one cent difference and does look a little bit better. So that's my recommendation for the Mag 7. Now for the Nova, gotta go with the classic Candy Apple Factory new. Another skin from the $5 loadout, but uh, definitely recommend that. It's only five cents, so it still fits in the loadout. And for the sawed off, I went with the Origami Field Tested. You used to be able to get a factory new that I believe would fit in this loadout, but prices for even that skin have gone up a little bit over time. I guess a lot of the older skins are actually worth more now than they used to be, but you can still get a Field Tested Origami on OP skins for only six cents, so it still fits in the loadout. And for the XM skin, there isn't too many options, but you can actually get a better skin for the XM than it used to be able to get in the $5 loadout, which is the Slipstream. The slipstream. I believe the best one before was like the Blue Spruce. But this one's a little snazzier, does look a little better than the Blue Spruce. It is a little beat up because you have to get in a field tested for it to fit in the loadout, but a pretty decent skin for your XM. Now for the M249, I went with the Spectre Minimal Wear. I believe this is another one, another one of the situations where the field tested and minimal wear are basically the same price. You could go for the minimal, for the field tested, but the minimal wear still fits the loadout's budget. So that's my recommendation for the M249, which I never use. So you might just want to cut the M249 if you don't use that as well. But either way, the final skin for this loadout is the, the Negev Dazzle Field Tested, and that's only six cents as well. So that's actually a pretty sweet looking Negev skin. Um, anyway, so that's pretty much it for this video guys keep in mind that there is no R8 skin for this loadout and There is also you have to choose whether you want an M4A4 or an M4A1S Or if you want a USPS or a P2000 on OP for um to get under three dollars using the OP skins pricing And also keep in mind prices could vary a little bit after the video comes out because I did get the pricing from a few days before the video comes out, but it should still be a very, very cheap loadout. Probably the best cheap loadout you could ever get at around this price range. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm Exkillet, and I'm out.